Hey everybody! In this video I'm going to talk about z-sketching, which is really really useful when you are creating lots of different things. So right click in your scene, polysphere 1, z-sphere. Now let's create some body parts. So uh, hold down shift and drag around until you are fixed in the front view. Transform, turn on Y for the moment, and let's draw out two more Z spheres, and then let's switch back to X symmetry and draw out his draw out his shoulders and then his arms and his legs. Okay, now press W to select move. Let's draw his arms, or drag his arms out. And then his legs. Well, I, oh, I think we need another one. Those are his hips, sort of. Okay, and... Okay, nice. Okay, now he's coming to life. Now he needs a head, so let's... Sometimes when you're trying to create Z spheres, it you you have to create the Z spheres on the spheres. If you create spheres out here, it just creates um, additional Z spheres on the yeah, like right there. And we're trying to create the head right now, so we need to move things around a little bit. So move these out, and then zoom in, and then create another Z sphere right here. That, that's his neck, and let's move that up a little bit, so press W, and then move his neck up a little bit, and then draw, and let's create a head, nice, okay, fun, there's our dude, okay, now if we turn to the side, and hold shift to switch to a side view, we can move things around a little bit so he looks better, Okay, his legs need to be in the right place. And let's give him... Let's move his arms a little bit. Okay, that's good. Now let's complete this. Knees and... Okay, that's fun. Now let's move his arms and his legs so he... Okay, good. Right on. Now we're ready for the next step. Okay, now here is where the magic begins. Now, right now we've got uh, bones for our character that we can move around. Uh, if you want to move them, you know, so they don't um, change dimensions and things like that, select rotate and then it does nothing but rotate. Which is great when you're trying to move your character around because then he won't distort and freak out and stuff. Okay, but now go to draw and open up Z Sketch over here, which shows up when you start a Z Sphere. Z Sphere, and then Z Sketch is available. Yeah, okay. Anyway, um, you can either activate it right here, Edit Sketch, which changes the look of you, you just got rid of all your Z Spheres, and now it's in a Z Sphere geometry mode, sort of. Uh, uncheck that so it's back into Z-spheres, and we can do <laughs> move things around, or, yeah, rotate, move things around if we need to, um, or press Shift-A on the keyboard to do the same thing. Shift-A, 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 Shift-A. Okay, now we're in Z-sketch mode, and select Draw, and right now we're on bulge. We don't want that. We want uh, probably sketch one. Now this creates muscles. Well, we are creating muscles for our character right now, and there's no real. Let's undo that. Um, ah, it. I pressed undo too many times, and it went back to Z sketch. So press Shift A, 
And now, let's create his body parts, or muscles on his arms, and legs, and stomach, and This is really handy when you were trying to make just about anything, which is why in the description of this video you can literally make anything using just Z sketching. Okay. Legs. Nice. And at any time you can press A to see how your 3D model is looking. Okay, he's a little deformed, but we can still work on that. Um, hold down shift to start smoothing. Nice. Uh, you usually want to smooth quite a bit when you are Z sketching just to make sure your model looks the way you want it to. If you just start, you know, okay, this looks nice, and he's, yeah, he's a monster now, and then you start to uh, smooth. It takes a lot longer and sometimes you don't get the same visual effect you are trying to shoot for and things like that. So let's undo as many times as we need to. Yeah, so when you sketch, yeah, yes, it's wise to right afterwards um, smooth things out just to, so you can work on your model and stuff. Okay, now press A to, okay, that looks nice. Uh, let's move things around a little bit. So click add W, and then you can move all these around any way you want to, which is really, really, really handy. Okay, let's press A. Okay, that helps us back out a little bit, a little bit. Let's increase the brush size, or draw size. Okay, now... Okay, now he's uh, coming into shape. <laughs> nice. Okay, fine. Now, every once in a while you want to look at your active poly count and total poly count just to make sure you aren't in the, you know, hundreds of millions of billions. Uh, A. Z sketching is really very artistic. You, you can make anything from as many Z spheres as you want to. Uh, and, yeah, don't ever feel like you are confined to anything while using this brush. All those Z-spheres I applied, I can slowly smooth down to, you know, how they should look. Nice, that looks a little better. He's muscle man. Shift, uh, click, click, click. And then A to see what that looks like. Nice. Okay. A. Then uh, let's select the move tool, W, and draw size. Let's move things down to make his neck look a little better. Okay, that, that looks nice. But his, his neck's kind of like ugh, bulging out. So let's move that in. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Okay, now let's work on his head. So, draw, and then big head. Okay, that, I shift click that to scale that down a little bit. Let's press A to see how that looks. I like that. Okay. And if you are trying to get really, really fine detail, you can go down to, you know, draw size one. So, if you look closely at the screen, I'm going to click and you know create Z sketching on this but it is really really small so when you remesh by pressing A oh that's weird sometimes it doesn't work and some it it just this Z sketching takes a little bit of practice and creating s small spheres is not the best way to go uh, if my draw size was much bigger you know he probably needs some type of shield Okay, that's probably going to protect him for just about anything. But if I go to A, that's my new... He's like Kirby something. I don't know. Uh, <laughs> uh, you can uh, shift-click to scale down anything you want to. Let's make his back 
you know, muscular and stuff. So draw a size and then just start sketching. You know, if you have a basic idea of what the human body looks like or what you're trying to achieve, you can create anything in this uh, Z sketching method. Nice, okay, he's coming together. Okay, let's put in a few more. Or control Z, let's he's probably got a rib cage, so let's work on that. Click that, shift, click, shift. Nice. Now doesn't that look like the rib cage? On both sides, so press A. And yeah. Fancy, fancy. I hope everybody uses this tool and uh, one more thing before I, I leave this right now. Uh, let's press A to go back in Z sketching. Um, there are a few things we need to talk about right here. So, um, let's see. Okay, you open up. It's in your tool palette. But yeah, tools, and then Z sketch, which you know the tool palette is by default default on the right side. Yeah, tool palette. Okay, we can drop that or expand that and open up Z Sketch and we can uh, enter and exit Z Sketch by clicking this right here or pressing Shift A, Shift A, Shift A, Shift A. Uh, there you can, if you are out of uh, Z Sketch and you want to see it, press uh, Show Sketch and this gives you a transparent view of your model so when you rotate around, and move your dude, you'll see where things were and things like that. Yay, he can fly. <laughs> um, but another handy thing to do in when you click show sketch is you can press bind. Bind to armature. Armature is, you know, what we've been working on all this time. All his joints that you can move around and things like that. Neck, uh, legs, all this good stuff. Control Z. Okay, this, uh, let's see, if you push bind, when you move now, it will move with you. So you can, isn't that so cool? I, I really love Z sketching, and I'm going to use it a lot more. Now this way, um, if you push A, that's what your model looks like. Or you can move him back. You know, he's looking up at the sky. Or he's, you know, furious because ZBrush 4R6 hasn't been released yet. <laughs> ah. <laughs> uh, then press A to look at it again. And uh, just before I forget, if you know, you like, let's say this is exactly what you were going for, and you love this, but you still want to, I don't know. Uh, well, I don't know. You you like this, and you want to keep this, and exit this, this mode, and just sketch on him, sketch on him with regular brushes like this. You can go to the top and make poly mesh 3D, which you know, creates, you know, it flattens all your editing stuff that you've been doing and you can uh, work on it just as a, I don't know, 3D model. Let's go back to um, what we were doing down here in Z Sketch. So open Z Sketch. Yeah, okay. We've got bind on so we can rotate around and move our character however we need to. And if you want to move the character, okay, let's zoom in for this. If you want to move his arms and stuff, um, if you soft bind, it, the transition when you rotate is a lot smoother. So your geometry doesn't deform as much. Or no, it, it, it's a lot smoother in its... Um, deforming. And yeah. Let's go up to 100. Oh, I'm, I, I forgot. <laughs> you can't really see that yet because 
You have to push reset binding. I totally forgot. This, whenever you create new geometry and things like that, um, it is wise to rebind, reset binding. Like let's let's go back into sketch mode and shift. Wait, yeah, okay, shift A. Now we're trying to create additional stuff, and this I want this. You know, he's a crazy dude now. And we want this to bind as well, so press uh, Shift A and then reset binding so that when you move him, uh, rotate, all his stuff will move accordingly. Yeah. So let's undo a few times because I don't really like that look anymore. And that is Z sketching. I'm going to make a lot more videos like that. And yeah have lots and lots of fun with this and this is ZBrush for R5